Come on. <laughs> He's smacking it out of the water. There we go. Ah, oh, he's off. Oh, he's still following it. He's like swirling around it right here. Oh my goodness. All right, as you guys can tell, I'm back out here on the yak. I'm on the old faithful Old Town Big Water PDL 132. I don't know if I've announced this yet. I'm actually on the Old Town Pro Staff fishing team. So I'm gonna be using this Big Water and the Autopilot and maybe even a couple more kayaks in the future like a maniac. So really excited to be working with them. Uh, the bluefish are in thick. That is the theme of this video. I spent about an hour trolling around and wasn't really marking and wasn't seeing much. And then out of nowhere, I just started seeing these bluefish like thinning on the surface and also splashing on the surface. And then it just turned into pretty crazy topwater day. I landed at least four or five bluefish, I think, and lost probably at least three others I couldn't set the hook on. I was using topwater plugs like the scrum popper from Fish Lab, popping that on the surface, and also this small little Yozuri plug that you kind of do the walk the dog motion, and they were hitting kind of everything. So overall, decent trip. I know I have a bit of a reputation for hating bluefish, but I gotta say it was, it was pretty good to see them back in full force. I'm sure I will be sick of them in about two more trips, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Just had a fish blow up right next to me. And I'm kind of sick of just trolling around nonstop. So I'm just gonna try and throw a bunch of casts for a little bit. See if I can't get any to play ball. Oh, oh, oh! Yep, I think one played ball. <laughs> that was sick, that's a bluefish. That's a pretty big blue. I saw this fish splash right next to me. Holy crap. <laughs> huh? I don't know, that's actually that's a decent size. Oh man. These things have no quit in them, man. Not a bad bluefish. Oh man. I kind of miss these things, not gonna lie. I'm sure I'm gonna regret saying that in about two hours. But they are crazy freaking fish. I think I'm just gonna net this guy. Oh man, look at this thing. Oh. Terrible net job. All right, I got him. <laughs> that's that's a big boy blue right there. Had to get this thing on the kayak to get the hook out of it. <laughs> it's a pretty big, pretty good sized blue right here. Yeah, I know, but I know. Okay, got the hook out of him. Ugh, look at this freaking monster right here. Good bluefish to start. I think uh, I weighed him quick at 11 pounds, so that's a pretty beefy bluefish right here. And he just kicked right off. This sucks, dude. I didn't realize it until I cast this back out. I wasn't swimming right. Somewhere in all that commotion with that big bluefish, I broke the lip off my X wrap. Oh, I love this lore, dude. It's trusty go to lore. That is a freaking bummer, but. It's all right, I'll switch to some other kind of swimmer, I guess. I cannot believe I broke that x wrap dude. I've had that thing for like three years. That was a really good holdover lure, too, for holdover stripers. What a freaking bummer. So I'm not really marking these fish too thick. What's happening is I'm just covering a lot of water, and every now and again, I'll see a splash on the surface. And that's what happened back there, but I stopped and retrieved it, and when I retrieved it, the fish just went for it, so... I'm gonna keep covering water and trolling, and if I start seeing more activity or marking more fish, I'll start casting at them. But for now, like I said, kind of just covering a lot of water. See what I can find. And right as I said that, I'm seeing, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm seeing one on the surface right now. His tail is out of the water. Dude, there's a bluefish on the surface right now. He's cruising around like a shark. Watch this. See if I can get him. I don't know if the camera picked that up. It was really subtle. But I just saw a fork tail just like swimming. See if I can get him to hit this. It's a bigger presentation. Oh, he 
yeah, I'm seeing him. He's right on my left. He's right on my left. Since I'm seeing him on top, I'm gonna try a little top water action. Oh. I think I'm getting waked. Yeah, I'm definitely getting waked. Oh my god, something's following this. Take it, take it. Oh, there we go. Right on the paws. Oh, he popped. Oh my goodness gracious. Yep, there's definitely bluefish in here. Just, oh, yep, I was about to say, I just saw some fish break over here. Yeah, right in front of me. Oh my god, right in front of me, right, right through it. I'm in a school of them. Come on. Oh, hopefully I didn't spook him. I kind of came in hot. Just stay in here and cast for a little bit. Oh, I see one right back there, dude. I'm like literally seeing him swim on the surface right now. I just gotta get him to hit. I'm gonna drop it right in front of him. It's pretty much right on top of where I'm seeing this fish. He is not budging. Oh! Okay, got one to blow up on it. There we go. That was really, really cool. Oh, God. That's frustrating. Yep, oh, I got one sticking out of the water. About 30, oh, there's a bunch, there's a bunch. Oh, right there too. I'm right in them. Hopefully I get a hook up right here. Yep, oh man, come on. There we go. Got him. Oh, this is sick. Oh, he just spit it. Ah. Oh. That was a big bluefish too. Oh, and one just, holy mac. Okay, get it together. Get it together here. Dude, my hookup ratio is piss poor today. Using rubber hooks. That was a little frustrating, man. That was a, looked like a pretty big bluefish that spit that hook on me. I'm kinda just waiting for them to pop up again make their presence known. There we go. Got him. <sighs> Hooked up. Small, oh. Oh yeah, I forgot these <laughs> fish are crazy. There he is. Another decent blue. Not quite as big as that first one. But a good fish. Let him calm down. Look at this thing, dude. That is a scary fish. Oh, man. Look at this thing, man. Another good sized bluefish right here. Freaking big boy. If I can get the hooks out of him, that would be great. Oh, another good sized blue right here. I don't think quite as big as the first one. But approaching 30 inch class, I would say. He fought pretty hard. Kind of let him come back to life. He's starting to kick. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Down away to the deep. I'm in a field of them. I'm hearing them splash all around me now. Oh, that was sick. Really cool blow up. <laughs> He's swimming way too fast at me. Not liking that. <laughs> oh, love and hate these fish. It's a love-hate relationship. <sighs> scary ass fish, man. They are a legitimate scary fish. 
Like, I would not want to be swimming in these waters right now. These things are freaking savage. I'm just gonna net them and make my life easier. Ah, absolute failure of a net job. There he is. Hey, bud, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, nice, the lure came out. That is clutch. All right, so I'm gonna... I know, I know. There he is. Another bluefish, smallest of the day. I'm just gonna let him go. Get my lure out here. All right, since these fish are getting a lot more active, I'm gonna try out a different type of top water. This is a scrum popper. Uh, fish Lab, which is a Kuma's affiliate, makes these. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I have single hooks on them too to make it a little easier to deal with these blues. And you work these a little differently instead of a walk the dog motion, like side to side, you pop it. So it just makes a big splash. And hopefully the bigger presentation and the big splash will draw out the bigger blue fish. You know, a pretty common question is, uh, is the hookup ratio worse with single hooks? And in my opinion, yeah, it is. You're, you're gonna lose more fish, you're gonna miss more hits, but it is 10 times easier dealing with fish with single hooks than two sets of treble hooks. And treble hooks sometimes will hook fish in the side of the face and kind of mangle them up. And especially with bluefish, they're just a savage, like crazy animal that never calms down. Like treble hooks and bluefish usually is not a fun time. So I caught, I got three on the boat now. Um, I, I'm more than fine with switching to single hooks. That was sick, that was right next, not right next to me, but pretty close to me. On the papa. He's just staying on the surface too. Be a lot easier to handle him with single hooks. Just like that, there he goes. Way easier with single hooks. If we uh, can't get a few more, really wish I brought my dock out, which is a big, really big topwater plug. If I could target out the biggest bluefish, I'm telling you, man, that one bluefish that spit the hook. Uh, oh, one went for it. Come on, <laughs> he's smacking it out of the water. There we go. Ah, oh, he's off. Oh, he's still following it. He's like swirling around it right here. Oh my goodness. That is really cool. These things are like sharks, man. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> Probably sit down. <laughs> Bluefish came out of nowhere, man. Surprise attack. <sighs> oh, another decent bluefish right there. Sometimes it's just easier to deal with them in the boat. Another decent blue right here. This is actually one of the smaller ones I've gotten today. Look at this thing, man. Total, total piranha of Rhode Island. I'm gonna get him, oh, he's freaking fired up. I'm gonna let this thing go. There he goes. <laughs> 